These were all that remained after the flame was put off. Evident on the shelves were black charcoals. Rice grains were everywhere, soft drinks, canned food and refrigerator goods all burnt. The other side of the store contained goods sold in bulk. Some of it was saved, however the rest aided the blaze to spread throughout the building. Fire trucks arrived at the scene sometimes later. Unfortunately, the trucks weren't able to save the goods inside, but was able to put off the flame from spreading to nearby buildings. Police were there at the scene, keeping possible opportunists away from the store. According to Constable Lambert, the cause of the fire is unknown, but firefighters suspect it could be arson. Police investigation will be carried out to establish the cause. Uh, at this moment, we cannot uh, say what's the cause of the, some people who can tell us what actually caused the fire. Do you know the owner of the store? It's, uh, the owner, I believe, is owned by a Chinese. But... A woman lost all her market goods. She sells second and clothing just next to the store, wasn't able to rescue her goods worth more than 30,000 kina. This store has been rendering its services to the Hohola community for many years at reasonable prices. Unfortunately, there's nothing left on the shelf. Police and fire brigade arrived on the scene, but weren't able to save the store as it went up in flame. Tere Alex, National MTV News.